Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I share a simple video that's practical and I hope that you enjoy. Let's get let's get to it. Okay, so uh, normally I would practically uh, breed goldfish, live bearers, and I would sell them to the pet shop. But it is becoming so economically um, imbalanced right now that it's really a little bit difficult for me to actually say that I am going to be doing all of this work just to breed goldfish. You see, goldfish uh, don't really rake in that amount of money as how a lot of persons might think. And uh, regardless of what type of goldfish do you have, you have, right? Because to really get the good money, for example, if I'm, if I'm breeding red cap goldfish, I would have to keep those goldfish probably about two or three years to get them a really good size. And then I could sell them probably for about 4,000 Jamaican dollars. Guppies and, and, and other live bears such as moonfish and, um, you know, uh, guppies, sawtail, mollies, these fish, uh, I wouldn't get that much for it. I'm talking about Jamaican dollars now, right? So if I get a, a molly, a one inch molly or two inch molly, and I carry to the pet shop, I would get probably about uh, $60 for one, right? For the goldfish, depending on how large it is, uh, the prices might range from about $100 or $150 a one. Even some time, it's like $80 per one. However, when I do do cichlids, uh, let's say I do some Oscars, uh, Jack Dempsey's don't really sell when they are small. The persons like to see them when they are very big. And for those persons who know about Jack Dempsey, Jack Dempsey goes very slowly. So therefore, while an Oscar might uh, go to 10 inches within um, 10 months, uh, Jack Dempsey might go to uh, 6 inches within probably about 3 or 4 years. Right? A Jack Dempsey do get as large as an Oscar, or uh, even larger but it takes very it's a very long time right so not much money is on jack dempsey's so i decide to go on uh the blues uh can't win mbuma uh menganos demasoni and i'm going for some blue labs right uh if i should say that i am going to be selling let's say a dozen blue labs uh today uh Two, three inches i know that i can use that amount of money and pay my light bill right if i'm going to be selling let's say a three inch or a four inch um in Buna, let's say uh uh mengano uh, demason is a total different thing demason is like crazy money right but let's say that i'm going to be breeding some aratos or some uh menganos all right uh some demasoni I'm talking about paying my mortgage and paying my light and paying my my, my 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 everything right for the month if i can sell at least two dozen of those every month i'll be good so in looking at that uh you know that goal it makes no sense that i i be here having fish and they're just on me breeding and i'm not selling them right so it makes no sense so Currently, I have about uh, roughly 100 and, 120 uh, convict cichlids and probably about uh, 80 uh, Jack Dempsey's and these fish are like stuck with me. Uh, nobody wants them because one, the convict cichlids, they fight off everything in the aquarium. A lot of persons want, love the colors, but they see that they are too aggressive. Um, convict cichlids are very aggressive and it's difficult for persons to actually um, find tank meats for these fish so as a result a lot of persons opt not to get these fish right so i am just letting common sense prevail i intend to do some cichlids now i have already well i have a, a, a large ask i don't know if it's a male or a female i have two other I would say a little bit more than juvenile, a little bit older than juvenile. Ask us, I don't know if they are male or female. So what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be getting uh, two more askers and I'm going to be observing them very carefully and uh, just to find out the male and the female. And then I'm going to be placing the, separating them and see if I can breed some of them. 
all right let's look at these fish these are chromites right and chromites are like uh 100 and something dollars a pop right so usually you split the, whatever you see in the in the pet shop in jamaica you split that money in half that is what the breeders get so therefore if you see this selling at 110 dollars a pop that means that the breeders get roughly between 50 to 55 dollars for one right they breed a lot so therefore um they're always you know they're always available and persons usually sell the fish that are always available at a cheaper price than the fish that are a little bit more difficult to breed so let's say angel fish angel fish kind of thing a little bit I, I wouldn't say it's difficult to breed i haven't bred any i'm in the mode of doing that um but it takes a little bit of time and dedication to do that so as a result of that you might get angel fish depending on the size that uh you know to, to actually breed right for me i'm going to be going in the, the field of cichlids so i have some minganos some demasoni some angels some oscar i have the jack Dempsey's, but i'm going to be getting rid of them very soon and the convict cichlids and then i'm going to be getting some ob and i also be getting uh some more several i have two i don't know if they are male or female uh you'll see them more as i go along as i talk about my 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 my, my change as to the scope uh, where i'm at right i don't see myself having so much uh fish selling them for so cheap selling them so cheap uh not reaping the benefits just you know just sitting there and getting like half of the bills paid because um the the, the 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 price on these fish are just cheap so as i said in a video before it makes no sense that you keep fish that um to this extent that you're not reaping the benefits so this is where i'm at thank you very much for stopping by have an awesome day this is rally here peace